And here locally, a majority of farmers support the new bill. That's right. Many of them have been waiting a long time for this vote and say even with the concessions, the new bill could have been worse. WNY's Tanja Reiki has been following the story for months and joins us live with the latest. Jennifer and Daryl, I spoke to Asher Terwilliger, the president of the Chemung County Farm Bureau, who says the new bill is a step in the right direction. He's been in constant communication with Congressman Tom Reed throughout this whole process, and he's hopeful the Senate will take up the bill very soon. We've been here plenty of times before. Disagreements between the House of Representatives and Senate over the farm bill have been ongoing for nearly two years. At times, one group of lawmakers would pass their version only to be shot down by the legislative process. We've talked about the Farm Bill for a long, long time. This time, it looks like it could be different. The House passed the bipartisan bill Wednesday morning, making some compromises. Compared to what we thought we were going to get, this is excellent. The biggest sticking point has been the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, better known as food stamps. The Senate initially wanted to cut the program by $4 billion. The House wanted to gut the program from the bill altogether and then cut program funding by $40 billion. Wednesday morning, they found middle ground. The new bill cuts about $8.6 billion during the next 10 years. If we're going to straighten out and get a balanced budget, and stop this deficit that we owe. My grandchildren are going to be paying. My great-grandchildren will be paying the deficit off. We've all got to do something. We took cuts. Everybody's got to take cuts. Nearly 7,000 people living in the southern tier are at or below the federal poverty level, or about 15% of the population relying on SNAP benefits. The new bill changes the way heating assistance and SNAP benefits tie in together and puts more pressure on existing employment training programs. There doesn't seem to be any issues with the bill being signed into law by next week. It also includes a specialty crop research initiative that increases access to crop insurance to protect farmers against the weather and natural disasters like we've he seen here in the Twin Tiers. Tanjareki, WENY News.